This video is brought to you by Zarkin Productions, an umbrella group composed of over 10 shows, and an archive of over 5,000 videos covering a wide variety of topics. Please go to zarkin.com for a complete listing of video links, social media feeds, and opportunities to support our content. Thank you for your time, and may I present another Zarkin production. And we welcome everybody to DLW Barroom Blitz. I am Fritz Drury, your host, the chairman of DLW, as well as the bar owner. And in a, in a moment, we should have a double header of matches, but first. We got a few words from Jen Logus here.
Uh, hopefully we'll get some words from her soon. Jin saying, screw it, she doesn't need the ropes. Jen now saying she's only here to address a certain dipshit that cost her a match last week. Our new ex-referee, Dark Lion Bennington. Now she's saying she has been lobbying hard with Mr. Von Schnauzer not to fire him. And she's saying only because unemployment is too merciful. See, instead, as much as this goes against FWF and DLW's policy on their gender booking, She has lobbied to face his cowardly lion ass in the ring 
when his suspension is up. Now she's saying she owes him a good ass whooping, and damn it, she will give it to him. And she's saying when she gets done with him, the only stuff he'll be counting is his teeth on the canvas. I was just saying, anyway, see a down under. Well, anyway, I guess it's time to move on to our opening contest, which is scheduled for one fall. Apparently, we're having some production mishaps, mishaps upstairs. Anyway, introducing first, coming out of Paired Rock, at a weight of 300 pounds, this is Dirk Hyena.
And now it's time to bring out his opponent. Coming out of Manchester's back alleys. And a weight of 290 pounds. The return of the alley cat. Red Correa. Just a reminder to our competitors, feel free for to slap one of the two tip jars on the wall below the blood billboard. Something we forgot to remind our competitors last show. Only click on one of them though. It is good to see that Brad Correa has apparently been working out quite a bit since his last appearance in the ring. Built up his physique quite a bit. In fact, I think I even see a couple of tusks on him now. And a reminder that he is still the interspecies world champion. As a non sanctioned t championship, but it's a belt they won off a of Gator Dunn. Yeah, Gator Dunn originated the belt. Now, as a little reminder, that belt is not on the line in this match. This is a non-title matchup. Though, as Dark Hyena is a different species than Brad Correa, he is eligible to compete for that belt. The only stipulation of the Interspecies World Championship is that you have to be of a different species than the champion to go for it. The bell is sounded. We are underway. And 
Brad showing his newfound power already. Shoving Dark Hyena down to the mat. Now an exchange of chops here. Ooh, and a kick to the midsection. After that Irik. Now we're into a wrist lock. It's looking like Advanced Hyena right now. Followed by a hammer lock. The Brad counters out of it with a snapmare. Brad now up at the ropes. Returns from the ropes. Misses the fist drop. And Dirk Hyena. Counters it. With that nasty inverted atomic drop. Yeah, that's going to hurt Correa's little kitties, I'm sure. And now a big clothesline from Dark Hyena sending Brad down to the mat. The referee only counts a one. Already some early arguments for with the referee. Dirk Hyena might want to focus on the kitty right now. Now stomping away at the kitty. Good thing Peter doesn't watch these shows. <laughs> you now Dark Hyena picking him back up. And sends him up and down. Suplex, but only gets a two count out of it.
my mic cut out. Well, we just saw what happens when you argue with the referee too much. <laughs> Dark Hyena almost got pinned in that German suplex there. Ooh, and another dirty trick up of Dark Hyena's sleeve. Oh, me ouch is right from that one. <laughs> I hope Mr. Correa is not open on having kittens anytime soon. I'm amazed the re and the referee's starting to count now. As this is an illegal hold. Got it up to four. And we had a suplex for good measure. So he legally did break the count before the count of five. This match is still on. Now both on the mat. The referee up to six as they both return to their feet. Now a little brawling going on, a bionic elbow. And they lock back up. And Brad Correa showing that turnabout is fair play, sneaking that European uppercut. And it looks like he's going for a figure four here. Awfully close to the ropes, but we'll see if he has, gets a tap out of it. And we do have a tap. So the winner of this match is the result of a submission, the Alley Cat, Brad Correa. So a nice return match for the Alley Cat there. Picking up the W. And a little payback for that Ned Claw. Can I say Nat on the mic? Oh, I do own the place. I guess I can. <laughs> well, as Mean Gene Okerlund would have probably said, Holy balls! <laughs> I 
Anyway, before we start our main event, well, nice to know we got foghorns upstairs. Anyway, before we start our main event, if somebody please shuts off our foghorn first, we will have our messages. All right, let me try that again. And I guess we're going to wait all day for the main event now. Anyway, let me try that again. Just a reminder that we are looking for more talent. And could we please stop with the foghorn so I can get on with the messages so you two can wrestle? Alright. Now, hopefully without the interruption of a foghorn. If you are looking to become a wrestler or maybe want to help out, like with commentary, officiating... Maybe even managing a wrestler or maybe something else. You can see me or Rocco Clown Resident, who you will be seeing in the ring momentarily. And we are willing to train those without experience. And let's please stop with the foghorn. We are not done with the messages. And also a reminder that we will be... The well, we already said this before the show, but here's another reminder. As you see on the wall, FWF next week will be moving to Sunday nights at 7 o'clock p.m. Second Life Time. That begins next week on the 10th. DLW will still be at its same regular time of Friday afternoons at 1.30 p.m. Second Life Time. These are both bi-weekly shows. We alternate who has the weekend. And we do thank you kindly for the donations. Oh, I forgot to tell Mr. Rat Clown that... Stupid production forgot to pick up my video. So I gotta come out the old fashioned way. This business, like getting this filthy ass ring. When was the last time somebody dusted this canvas? In fact, I think I still smell sweat from two weeks ago. Fritz, have you ever considered hiring a janitor? Well... I kind of lack staff for the bar itself, just for the re just for the ring. This is all I got staff for. Kitty pity. I don't know what smells worse: the ring, the puke puddle by the ringside table in the corner. Or the audience. But anyway, I guess along with business. It's time to finish what I started Sunday. Let's get this kitty out here. Oh, wait a minute. 
There's a different referee. Let's make sure he's not like the last one. Okay, Mr. Referee. A little pop quiz for you. Okay. Say you see a wrestler's shoulders down on the mat. What is the first number you should count? Very good. And what comes after one? Two! Excellent! And what comes after two? Hey! Ah, three! Good kitty! Remind me to give you a treat after the show if you count right. Well, anyway, it looks like we're about ready for our main event scheduled for one fall. As you see out of that orange corner, out of Baraboo, Wisconsin, is Rocco Racklown. And his opponent, out of the green corner, is Nicholas. You now a signal for the bell. And now they're locking up. Rocco with a wrist lock. Into an arm drag takedown. Now standing him back up. And locking in a hammer lock. Now the hammer lock being reversed by Nicholas. Into a side headlock takedown. Now standing him back up.
Off the ropes goes Rocco. And under. And catches him with a bulldog. Now going for a cover. Only a two count. And a little club with the forearm. Zarako hits the ropes. And gets met with a nasty drop kick. Now an Irish whip, Rocco into the corner. And a big high knee from Nicholas. Now a few knee strikes in the corner there. And it's looking like old Nicholas right now putting a beat down on the clown. Into a sleeper hold. And Rocco saying pop quiz. Rocco saying, what's the capital of Thailand? Uh oh. Nicholas saying Bangkok. Garanto saying ding dong, you got it as he snuck that ding dong tail. Rather nasty move by Rocco there. Now a suplex. Into a, into a stomp to the chest. Now under the top rope he goes. Or under the bottom rope. <laughs> Can't hurt to go under the top rope. Now big vaulting moonsault. 
But Nick gets out of the way just in time. And drops the knee on Rocco. Nick using those knees a lot on the rack clown. And here's a cover. One, two. And a second two count for good measure. Only a two though. Now Nick packing them, picking them back up. And Rocco sneaking the schoolboy. And there's a count. Only a two count as Nicholas kicks out of it. And a stomp to the midsection. As Rocco now heads toward the top turnbuckle. And Nicholas using the ropes to get up. Rocco loses his balance on the top turnbuckle. And it hurt. Looks like both of these wrestlers are going to Bangkok. And now Nick setting him up. And sends him down with a superplex. Referee starting to count up to six. And Irish Whip Reversal. And Nick ducks the clothesline, kicks Rocco in the midsection, saying it's time. And a big power bomb from Nicholas. And there's a cover. One, two, three. The winner of this match, Nicholas. Well, you'll have to see Maynard Von Schnauzer about the title opportunity. I do believe he does intend to put you in the tournament for the championship.
Rocco still looking a little dazed after that power bomb. Anyway, we do thank you all for coming out. We will be back again here in two weeks. You know, on Friday at 7 p.m. Second Life time. The next show that the company puts on will be FWF Blood a week from Sunday. Anyway, we thank you all for coming out. Hope to see you again next time. Reminder that FWF Blood will be on Sunday starting on the 10th at 7 o'clock Second Life time. And the following weekend will be the next DLW Barroom Blitz here at the Tap. On Friday, same, same time as always.